How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be tearing down this RTX 3060 Ti Founders Edition. The ultimate goal for this card is to put it into this water block. Water block is going to be a different video. Uh, today I'm just going to get the PCB out of the shroud and prepare it for going in that nice water block. The water block says it's for 3070. Uh, according to Big Ski's website, 3070 3060 Ti Founders Edition takes the same water block. So, my plans for this build is to get the 3060 Ti in a water block, get a 3090 in a water block, put them in the same build, loop them in, see how I can get the cooling, and maybe mine moderately with one card while gaming on the other. And just test out different workloads and how. Well, the thermals do if I can get big enough radiators, but that's a goal. Easy video today. So let's get started. Okay, so all these screws, I believe, there are some T8, and then I believe there's going to be some T6. If you've done a teardown on a 3070FE, then this shouldn't be too strange, but I'm just going to go ahead and start with these T8s. I'm not going to keep track of where the screws were or anything. Uh, from what I've seen, it's fairly simple. I decided to put this 3060Ti in a build with the 3090. I know the 3060Ti is great for low power consumption while also getting great performance, especially with mining. Miners love it. That's why these prices are still crazy. Availability is still insane. But it's what it is. It's a beautiful card. I think NVIDIA did such a great job with these. One more here. Okay, that's the six off the top. I believe this should come up. And then you pull, it just comes right off. Okay, let's get that to focus. side of the PCB. And then here's where you got the four, looks like T6 screws, but before I do that, I'm going to take, let's see, there's two screws there, I believe there are also T8s. Stand it up. Take these screws out off screen. Huh. And I dropped one down, but that's right, it's right here. Okay. I'll do it this way. So we're just taking off the second screw of this IO shield, got two left. Two. Let's There's really no need to water cool the 3060 Ti. 
and the environmentals that I'll be in would be fine with air, but parts are out there. Why not have fun? I'll try and do a full loop CPU, GPU, debating what I'm going to do with the pump res situation. Exactly what case I'm going to get, I have no idea yet. Oh, we got the screw here too. Interesting enough, there was no screw up here at the top. But there's a hole there. And, oh, that's right. There was a screw there. Duh. That's holding the back plate in. Okay, that is all four. That comes off that easy. Nice grate. Use that as a cheese grater now that I'm not using it in the card. Set that aside. And I believe these are T6s. And I have a T6 here. It's not a T6. good to screw one all the way out at a time, but I'll just be extra careful and kind of go star-shaped. So, I didn't break them. And that's it. Just those two. No other cables. Get that close up. Stuck here. jobs and yeah that looks pretty bad uh, you know for how much how difficult it is to get these you'd really hope that it came without needing any Additional work from the consumer, but and one you probably would get by. 
So there's a PCB. Set this down in the box over here. Okay. Here. Copper, heat sink. about it. Free PCB. That PCB is going to be going in the big ski water block. That'll be the next video. So stay tuned for that if you're interested.